Welcome to our channel. Today we talk about everything you need to know about antidepressants including Usage How do they work? Types of antidepressants Side effects And withdrawal symptoms Antidepressants are primarily used to treat depression, but they may also be used to treat other mental health conditions, such as anxiety disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and bipolar disorder. Antidepressants are also sometimes used to treat chronic pain conditions, such as fibromyalgia. How antidepressants work? Antidepressants work by altering the levels of neurotransmitters in the brain, which are chemicals that carry signals between nerve cells. The most commonly targeted neurotransmitters by antidepressants are serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Serotonin and norepinephrine are both involved in regulating mood, and low levels of these neurotransmitters have been linked to depression. Dopamine, on the other hand, is involved in regulating motivation and pleasure. Antidepressants can increase the levels of these neurotransmitters by blocking their reuptake, which means that they prevent them from being absorbed back into the nerve cells that release them. This leads to increased levels of neurotransmitters in the spaces between nerve cells, known as synapses, which can improve mood and alleviate symptoms of depression. Types of Antidepressants There are several types of antidepressants, including Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors SSRIs. These drugs work by increasing the levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin in the brain. Examples include fluoxetine, Prozac, Sertraline, Zoloft, and Escitalopram, Lexapro. Serotonin Norepinephrine Reuptake Inhibitors SNRIs. These drugs increase the levels of both serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. Examples include venlafaxine, Efexor, duloxetine, Cymbalta, and desvenlafaxine, Pristique. Tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, these drugs were one of the first types of antidepressants developed. They work by increasing the levels of serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. Examples include amitriptyline, Elevil, nortriptyline, Pamelor, and amipramine, Tofranil. Minoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, these drugs work by blocking the enzyme minoamine oxidase, which breaks down neurotransmitters like serotonin and norepinephrine. Examples include phenylzine, nardal, tranylcypramine, parnate and isocarboxazid, marplan. Atypical antidepressants, these drugs don't fit neatly into any of the above categories, and each one works differently. Examples include bupropion, wilbutrin, mirtazapine, remeron, and trazodone, deseril. Side effects, some common side effects of antidepressants include Nausea, many people experience nausea when they start taking antidepressants. This usually goes away after a few days or weeks. Dizziness, antidepressants can cause dizziness or lightheadedness, especially when standing up quickly. Weight gain, some antidepressants can cause weight gain, which can be frustrating for some people. Sexual dysfunction, antidepressants can affect a person's libido and ability to have an orgasm. Insomnia, some antidepressants can cause insomnia or make it difficult to fall asleep. Dry mouth, antidepressants can cause dry mouth, which can be uncomfortable. Headaches, some people experience headaches when they start taking antidepressants. Sweating, antidepressants can cause excessive sweating, especially at night. Constipation, antidepressants can cause constipation, which can be uncomfortable. It is important to note that not everyone experiences these side effects, and some people may experience different side effects. If you are experiencing side effects from antidepressants, it is important to talk to your doctor about your options. Withdrawal Symptoms Withdrawal symptoms of antidepressants, also known as antidepressant discontinuation syndrome, can occur when an individual stops taking antidepressants abruptly or reduces the dosage too quickly. The symptoms may vary depending on the specific antidepressant and the individual sensitivity to it, but some common withdrawal symptoms may include 
dizziness, nausea and vomiting, headaches, insomnia or vivid dreams, fatigue, irritability or agitation, anxiety or panic attacks, flu-like symptoms, such as muscle aches and fever, electric shock sensations, also known as brain zaps. Withdrawal symptoms can range from mild to severe and can last from a few days to several weeks. It is important to note that not everyone experiences withdrawal symptoms when discontinuing antidepressants, and the severity of the symptoms can vary among individuals. It is always recommended to consult with a healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication regimen. If you are experiencing withdrawal symptoms, your healthcare provider may recommend slowly tapering off the medication over a period of weeks or months to minimize the risk of withdrawal symptoms. Thanks for watching the video. Don't hesitate to write down your experience using antidepressants in the comments section. Please do subscribe to our channel for more mental and physical health related videos.